Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be going through how to install Rust programming utilities on Linux. And then we'll go through how to create our first program and project. I'm using Ubuntu here today, and in the terminal I'll show you how to install Rust. Overall, it's a fairly easy process to go through using the package manager, so let's first launch the terminal. And before we begin, make sure to smash that like button for me, it really does help me out. In order to install Rust today, we'll install one package with sudo space apt space install space rust c. Let's then press enter. It'll ask you for a password, put your administrative password in, and press enter again. And here we're told what packages will be installed with the rust c package. And it says cargo, a few libraries here, including the rust standard library, and Rust GDB for debugging purposes. These are all fine packages, so I'll press yes to continue by hitting enter and then giving the package manager a few moments to download and install all dependencies and packages. This process will take a minute or so, depending on your connection speed. And once things are finished installing, I'll clear things out and just mention one other thing. Since we're on Ubuntu today and we're using the Aptitude Package Manager to install things, I'll also mention to you Arch users out there that you can install Rust also by doing the following. If you type in pacman space dash capital S space Rust, that will also get you Rust C, the compiler, and Cargo, the package manager for Rust. And then you can follow along with us because you'll have the proper packages to compile and run Rust. With that being said, let's create our very first program in Rust. And if you're new and stopping by to watch this video today, make sure to support the channel by subscribing below and hitting that notification bell for more Linux and operating system videos. In order to create our very first program, I'm going to use Nano to do this. And you can really create this anywhere. I'm going to create it in my home users directory. That's where I'm currently at. I'm gonna type in Nano space and a name for my program. I'm gonna call it hello world.rs. .rs is the extension for Rust source files. So we'll need that extension at the end. And then I'm gonna press enter. Inside here, I'll create my very first function, which is the main entry point for a program here in Rust, which is called main. I'm gonna type in fn space main open and close parentheses followed by open and closed curly braces and then in between those i'll type in print ln with an exclamation point at the end close and open parentheses followed by a semicolon at the end and then in here between some quotes i'll put in hello world with a period we're getting very close to compiling and running our first program let's save and exit out of this by hitting Control x and saying yes to save the modified buffer I'll keep it hello world.rs and I'll just do ls in order to see hello world rs available here in my home users directory. Now we're ready to compile our program using Rust C and all we have to include behind it is our source file. So hello world.rs that will compile things. If you get no errors, that means the compilation went successfully. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button for me and also share this with a friend who's been wanting to program but hasn't quite yet been able to set their environment up because this is a very simple setup on Linux and it might get them started with programming. Here comes the exciting part, running our very first program. So after we've compiled things, if I do ls, we see we have this hello world without the dot rs. This is a binary file at this point which has been compiled by Rust. So we can run it. How do we run it? Type in dot slash and then type in hello world without the rs at the end and press enter look at that congratulations you've made your very first rust program and you've set your environment up to run and compile rust this is very exciting you can start easily following through tutorials here either in the terminal or using your favorite ide such as vs codium or the likes all right we talked about installing cargo but we haven't used cargo quite yet cargo is a very powerful package manager available for Rust. It allows you to install crates or modules to your system so you can use various predefined and pre-built functions. It also helps you manage your project, clean, build, test, and run. Let's quickly use Cargo to create a brand new project and then run that project. And this will actually show you how to create a Hello World program even quicker than we did a moment ago. I'm going to type ls and I'm going to create a new directory by doing mkdir space Rust, which is a directory I'll keep my Rust programs in. And then I'll change directories into that Rust directory. And now that I'm in that Rust directory, I'll clear things out and then use cargo new. And I'll call this project one. You can call this whatever you want. Fill in project one, 
with whatever makes sense for your project and then press enter. And it says, created a binary application, project one package. So what does that do? If I type in LS, we see that a new directory exists here and it's the root directory for project one. All the sources belong inside of it. So if I type in CD and change directories over to project one, I see I have a cargo.toml file and a source file. So all my project source files exist in the source directory. The cargo.toml file will keep track of various different packages and crates or modules that belong to this specific project. We can open up that file by typing nano or using your favorite text editor and then typing cargo.toml. In here it says the project name, version, who the author is, and then any dependencies that we have down below. Of course, there are no dependencies here currently, so I'll exit out real quick. I type ls again and change directories over into source. We'll see that there's a file called main rs. Well, what's in this? I'll use nano to check. Look at that. Just like we wrote earlier, a hello world available to us. It's already written out for us. So we're going to save and exit and run this real quick, clear things out and go back up a directory. Although you can probably run this from anywhere. Let's just try actually. If we do cargo space run, this will compile and run your program. Looks like I messed up the crate by creating it with a capital P. It says it should be snake case name. Of course you can turn this off, but we can create a new project just as easily. Anyways, things finished up. It took 0.18 seconds to build and it ran the debug released file and it says hello world to us. So what does that look like? What happened here? Nothing changed in this directory. If we go back one, we see that we have a target. Now, if we switch over to target, we'll see that we have a debug directory. We could also have a release directory if we build for release, but here's my project one file. I can run this and I should get hello world as well. And I sure do. So you can see how powerful cargo is by creating a brand new structure for your project, what they refer to as a crate. And there are a bunch of different commands you can run with cargo. So make sure to check out how to use cargo with Rust. It's a very powerful tool and package manager here in the Rust programming language. You can easily clean things out in your project by just doing cargo space clean. That'll get rid of the files that don't have to do with your source. You can also simply build programs by doing cargo build, which builds and compiles unoptimized and debug related binaries for you for your project. At this point, we've successfully installed the Rust compiler as well as Cargo, the package manager for Rust. Congratulations and have fun programming in Rust. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.